show that great, big, beautiful cabbage heads worked out really well in this little shallow range bed that we did. Doesn't get better than that. All right, so we did a, an experiment with the cabbage as well in the same time frame. We just had, we had the little sprouts, planted them in just a little small raised bed. It's maybe six to eight inches. Filled it with perlite, a little bit of gravel in the bottom just to keep it drained well. As you can see, these cabbage heads are going crazy. This has been wonderful. I even have <laughs> some basil plants in here just because. We made the frame out of just some two by eights and then we just screwed them together and made a liner from a pond liner we had just to keep the water from going out. And that's all you need. But let's just pick this and just see what it looks like, what the roots are. Yeah, and that's it. Clean, beautiful, giant cabbage head. As you see, the roots are just super clean and not a lot because they're getting everything they need. They didn't have to spread out, get very deep. So we're just using a little two by eight uh, for the bed. And I used perlite because I had a bunch of perlite, very inexpensive. But if you see that, come here, a little closer. I've got gravel in the bottom about two inches just for drainage. And then uh, I just water it from the bottom with a PVC pipe with some slots and holes in the bottom so I could just water from the bottom so we don't get the leaves wet, which made this just the great best way to grow this cabbage. All right, let me show you where I watered these. Here's the PVC pipe with the slots, slots, holes. And all I do, I just stick a hose in here and I'll water it. All right, so I just water down here and that water will just spread out all underneath because I've got that two inches of rock. And I'll also use a nutrient solution in this, oh, probably maybe every other time just to get some really good nutrients for the cabbage. Talk about some healthy stuff. Anyway, so I'll just check that down. And you'll see the water's just going down and spreading out. And then you can see if you've got if you've got just a little bit of water in there, you're fine. It'll even go dry, but you'll feel the, the perlite that it's still damp. So best way to water this is just like that. You don't get any water on your leaves. If you're doing this outside, just make sure they get enough air and enough light. And you don't need to do it this way because you'll have to water from the top because it'll rain on them anyway. But this is what's a great experiment. This stuff is amazing, tastes great high nutrition, I wouldn't do it any other way. But he just needs some eyes and a mouth on here to be Cabbage Patch Kids, huh? All right. All right, well, another successful experiment. Obviously, this is great cabbage, grew huge, our little Cabbage Patch here. So, until next time. At Complete Growing, we keep it simple, we keep it sustainable, we keep it affordable, and most of all, we keep it real. Join our growing community by subscribing and clicking on that notification bell because you don't want to miss a thing.